Hallo und herzlich willkommen zur Adventure Treff Show. Heute geht es um Asylum, das ist der geistige Nachfolger von Scratches von Augustin Cordes. Der ist hier zu Gast in der Show und wir haben ein paar exklusive Einblicke in Asylum. Alle Jahre wieder kündigt Augustin Cordes Asylum an. Ja, es geht schon eine ganze Weile, dieses Spiel. 2013 wurde es dann über Kickstarter erfolgreich finanziert und seitdem warten die Fans gespannt, was denn nun bei rauskommt. Wir haben jetzt hier schon exklusive Einblicke in das Spiel in der Adventure Trap Show und man sieht, es geht gut voran. Das sieht ja schon sehr vielversprechend aus und wir erfahren jetzt deutlich mehr über das Spiel, denn in der Show zu Gast ist Agustin Cordes. Grüß dich, Agustin, schön, dass du da bist. Hallo, Hans. I'm very pleased to speak with you and thank you very much for having me in the show. Uh, as you know, I missed the party last year. Well, all of Gamescom, actually. So uh, I'm very happy to be back in touch with you and the whole Adventure Track community. Die Ankündigung von Asylum ist ja so eine Art Running Gag geworden in der Community. Kommt es denn jetzt 2016? I really seriously hope so. Um, I mean, this year was particularly uh, difficult because, as you may know, uh, we had a new uh, family member and uh, we are doing great, but it, it, he's really complicated things a bit. Uh, I'm sure our situation will be more, much more stable next year. And uh, I definitely have to go to Gamescom to promote Asylum, which for sure will be either released or closed to be released. That's the plan, at least. Dann sehen wir uns also im August. But yeah, I, I want to be there. I want to be there for sure. Yeah. Schön. Wie läuft's denn mit Asylum? It's going pretty well. Uh, I know the, this year has been rather slow uh, when it comes to news of the game. Uh, but all the major obstacles were uh, sorted out, uh, especially when it comes to the presentation of characters in the game and how you interact with them. All that system is in place. Uh, our Kickstarter backers have been able to play through most of the Hanwell Mental Institute, you know, the, the, lo the entire location of the game. And uh, so it, it's all you know, pretty much put together. I'm working on the game logic, writing, and then it's going to be a matter of doing voice recording, tests. Uh, I think it's coming along pretty well, thankfully. Ihr entwickelt schon länger. Was hat sich jetzt über die Zeit an Asylum verändert? You mean the game? I mean, the mark okay, yeah. Uh, when it comes to the game, well, the script has remained unchanged or almost unchanged since 2009. So uh, the story, design, and overall idea of the game has been the, the constant. Uh, graphics, of course, um, have improved a lot over the years. One of the major problems in production has been, you know, the consistency of the locations because as we kept working on, on the Hanwell Institute, the newer rooms that we did looked far better than the early ones. So we had to go back, iterate, and, you know, redo some locations. We also added one or two. Uh, we had to remove some as well, because otherwise the, the whole building was going to be way too large. Um, but other than that, <clears throat> I would say, Music, our plans for the music has have, have changed a lot. Initially, 
Cellar of Rats, you know, the, the same composer from Scratches was going to do the soundtrack for Asylum. And he had some uh, different ideas, ideas in mind. He wanted to do a more abstract uh, soundtrack, reminiscent of games like Doom 3, maybe more soundscapes than music. Uh, this idea was also carried through by uh, Daniel Farros when he was working on the soundtrack. But as you know, my, my brother is on board now doing most of the music for the game. And in many ways, he will come full circle because he's doing music that is very reminiscent of Scratches. And I think it's really the, the this is the, the, the music that was supposed to be in Asylum. So uh, even though I planned at first to, you know, keep both games more separated, like this is Scratches and this is Asylum, more than ever, Asylum has become a spiritual successor of Scratches. So I, I hope the fans will appreciate that. Die Kickstarter-Kampagne für Asylum ist ja jetzt schon eine ganze Weile vorbei. Musstet ihr inzwischen neue Mittel aufbringen? Um, no, actually, we, we are we're still okay with the Kickstarter money. We, I, have, I have been very conservative with our finances, but um, Kickstarter has accounted for uh, more or less half the budget of the game. So before the Kickstarter, I had invested more or less the same money into the game. So the, the full budget is like twice as much. Hättest du denn Asylum auch ohne Kickstarter machen können? Um, possibly no. I our, my plan would have been producing another game first because uh, we, we, without that extra funding, I mean Asylum couldn't have become the game it is today. So. Either I, you know, I would have rescheduled some things or uh, maybe just cut things from Asylum. For example, uh, we, we wouldn't have done the switch to Unity, which has been, you know, very, very positive for the project. It's looking uh, better than ever now and we are able to do some things that uh, it would just wasn't, they weren't possible with our own engine. Uh, so without that extra budget, uh, maybe the game would have been released, but it would be mm, more like scratches in terms of technology. Which, I mean, because of the story and the things that happen in Asylum, as you're going to see, uh, it definitely, the project has benefited a lot of, of Unity and what we are doing now. Es gibt ja im Horrorbereich schon einige Titel, die in einer verlassenen Irrenanstalt spielen. Wie schwer ist es da, sich von den anderen abzuheben? Um, I don't, you know, I don't think it's that much difficult as long as you leave something from you in the game, make it, you know, a bit personal, uh, because we are unique human beings and we have very different ideas and, and goals in mind. As long as you make a personal work, I think it's going to be different by definition. Um, so that's never been a concern for me, I mean, for the for the project, because it, it is a personal game. I mean, not just me, but the, the artist, uh, he has been doing things uh, you know, he, he's, been leaving, he's been leaving his own signature graphics when it comes to art. Same with my brother, with the music. I think the music is very different from what you are accustomed to, to hear in horror games because he had complete liberty to, you know, compose the music he wanted. So uh, in that regard, I think it's a different game per se, so to speak. Warum faszinieren dich denn alte, verlassene Irrenhäuser so? Hast du da eine persönliche Verbindung? Uh, I mean, uh, it's not like I have a personal thing with asylums. I just like them. I think they're great environments to tell horror stories. And yes, we, we have been to a local asylum to do a research for the game. We actually released a preview video of the documentary. Uh, it's going to be called The Tour of Hangwell. Um, 
and we used we are going to use for the this documentary some of the uh, recordings we did uh we got some great stories some very uh inspired moments that made it to the game in fact our one of our main characters lenny <clears throat> has been inspired by an encounter with uh, a patient in this real asylum was kommt denn bei dir zuerst die story die rätsel die umgebung oder die geschichte ha, i think you know they all come together pretty much um First, in both cases, Scratches and Asylum, I had a premise in mind, which is the very, you know, overall story. Like, I know this is how it begins, this is how it ends, and more or less something like this has to happen in between. But before I proceed to writing the what I like to call the semi-novel, which I did for Scratches and also for Asylum. It's a, um, it's actually like a narrated uh, story of the whole game. Um, before going going to the, to that you know uh, phase of the design, I try to come up with puzzles. For example, the, the best example in Scratches is uh, without spoiling much the puzzle involving the garden and the photograph was an integral part of the story because that that moment uh came to me as i you know thought of the of main premise so uh i knew that that puzzle had to be there also uh, a few more and uh but then before completing the story i design the, the, you know, the blueprints of Blackwood Manor. And then, based on those blueprints, I thought of extra puzzles. So it's very, you know, organic. I mean, first is the story, then a few main puzzles, then the environment, but then I go back and rethink the whole thing, uh, taking into account the environment. Uh, same with Asylum. Uh, many puzzles, such as, for example, there's a sequence in, in sewers um, and they made it to the game after we came up with the design of Hunger Mental Institute. But before doing any production for the game, I settled on the semi-novel, which is the things that had to happen. Okay. The semi-novel contemplated some, some puzzles, but it it's mostly story, I mean to, to ensure that the story works before doing any actual work. For the game. Deine Kickstarter-Kampagne zum HP Lovecraft-Spiel ist ja gescheitert. Musstest du dann Leute entlassen? Yes, yes. After the after that Kickstarter, we were we were like uh, seven people, and we are three now. We also had to shut down the the office. Um, in many ways, I like to look at the bright side of things. Um, I think that in retrospective, with with the baby now, I think it was. Uh, you know, not a good thing, but uh, like okay to work from home again because uh, I got to be with him some more time and help here. And I think that managing the office with a baby and a new project would have been too stressful for me. So <laughs> it's not like, like I'm grateful the Kickstarter didn't happen, but I'm like not entirely sorry if that makes sense i mean of course if i want that project to happen it's my dream project so i would have given you know all that guts to make it happen even if that means uh ending in a hospital because of <laughs> stress you know but uh yeah it's um i'm maybe you know bitter about the whole thing because uh i still keep hearing from people that want to, that they, they ask about the game and no we definitely don't not doing any work on it anymore gibt es denn eine chance dass wir das hp lovecraft spiel trotzdem irgendwann einmal sehen werden yeah i mean i don't know i, I don't know what's going to happen after asylum for sure i want to uh, i want to do smaller projects now i mean 
asylum has been way too demanding. Uh, Charles the war wasn't going to be that, you know, huge either, but uh, it's still a seasonal project, and I'm not sure it, it won't be the, the next, you know, immediate thing I do after asylum, not after, after uh, this, this year. I mean, I wanted to do the project back in, you know, 2004 with the office, with the team, but now that our situations have changed, I don't see myself embarking on that project as soon as Asylum is finished. So, uh, yes, we have adventure games in mind, but they are more, um, you know, smaller, more focused. Wie sieht es denn mit deinem Sohn aus? Wird der deine Spiele auch spielen? What? Sorry? Naja, du hast ja recht gruselige Spiele gemacht. Zeigst du die auch deinem Sohn, damit er sieht, was der Papa macht? Ah! Yeah, well, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, he, he, he won't play them. Maybe some sequences of scratches or Serena, at least until you open that, that closet. But no, no, I mean, I'm definitely planning to play many adventure games with him. He's already, he already enjoys, you know, tablets, uh, screens. He, he like it. So uh, I can see playing, I, I mean, many, many games with him. Yeah. Dann weiter viel Erfolg mit Asylum im kommenden Jahr und vielen Dank für das Interview, Agustin. No, thank you for the lovely questions and uh, as always, let's keep in touch. I'm hoping to see you all next year with the game. Und das war die letzte Adventure Treff Show im Jahr 2015. Ich sage vielen Dank fürs Zugucken, für die vielen Kommentare. Gerne auch wieder zu dieser Show. Kommentare unten reinschreiben oder gefällt mir klicken oder im Forum bei uns zur Show diskutieren. Und wir sehen uns dann im kommenden Jahr wieder. Das ganze Team von Adventure Treff wünscht euch ein erfolgreiches 2016 und einen guten Rutsch. Musik